Well, hi, good morning, and welcome to GACC Kids Church. Before we get started, can you bring your parents into the room? I'd like to talk with them for a minute. Are they there yet? Parents? Hey, the kids and I, um, on Elisa Lake's prompting, decided to be with this ministry, You Mom, and we're coming alongside them. We're supporting them by bringing them clothing, gently used clothing for children, uh, bicycles, even adult bicycles, baby wipes, uh, diapers, anything for young children, especially books. These kids that are in these fam families love books. So bring books, gently use toys, clothes, do a really good purging of your stuff right now and bring it to church. We have our own little box right over here in the corner of Children's Church that you can put your donations in right there. All right, okay. Well, let's go ahead and get ready to worship the Lord together. I wanna grow up, grow up, be like Jesus, to do what he teaches, and share the light. I wanna grow up, grow up, and go where he leads me, walking the way that I know is right. I wanna grow up, grow up. You are Well, thank you for praising God with me today. All right, so what do we do here? On Sunday mornings, we get buggy for Jesus. And I bet you can guess what this is. Okay, hint, it's not a caterpillar. I know it looks like one, but it's not. And it looks a lot like a millipede, but it's not. 
Did anybody guess yet? Okay, it's the centipede. Now, how are we going to praise God with a centipede? Well, first, let's, let me tell you a cute little story. It's kind of a fake story, but it's really funny. So this young man decided that he wanted to go to the store and get an exotic pet. So he went to the pet store and this, the store person talked him into buying a talking centipede. And this particular centipede had like a hundred legs. Now most have like 30, 32, something like that. But this one had a hundred. Anyways, so the young gentleman was so happy to go home with his new pet and he got it home and had it in its little box and he's talking to it and he's like, hey, well, what can we do? Well, what would you do? The first thing that would you do with a new friend? Invite him to go to church, right? So he says, hey, little buddy, do you want to come to church with me today? He listens, no answer. So he waits a few minutes and he's like, hmm, hey, little buddy, into the box. Uh, you want to go to church and meet all my friends? Hmm? No answer from this little buddy. He waits a few minutes and he's like, okay. Listen, little buddy, do you want to go to church and learn about God with me? And then he heard it, a little voice from the box saying, I heard you the first time. I'm just trying to get all my shoes on. <laughs> because he has like a hundred legs, which means he has a hundred feet. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. Okay. Maybe it wasn't that funny, but it's cute, right? They do have a lot of legs. Can you imagine having that many legs and trying to put your shoes on in the morning for school? Having your mom say, come on, hurry up. Okay, centipedes don't wear shoes. Okay, so let's talk about centipedes for Jesus. Well, have you guys seen a centipede? I don't know if you guys know, but we have some of the biggest centipedes in the whole world. But most of us don't see them because they're nocturnal, which means that they go to sleep during the day and they come out at night while we're asleep. And I'm pretty sure we're happy about that because some of them can be really creepy. But one of the centipedes that we have here, oh, oh, we have one here. Do you want to see one? That's awesome. Let's take a look at it. So this centipede that I caught is the common house centipede for Arizona. It's very small. And it's good because it eats things like silverfish, cockroaches, um, other little bugs that you don't like around the house either. And so it's really good not to kill these because they eat a lot of other bugs. But most people don't like the looks of this creepy crawly centipede. So they end up getting killed when they really should keep them around, right? Well, this one is only an inch to two inches long. That's as big as he will ever get. But Arizona is known for other centipedes. Now, they are creepy and they do have a venomous bite. This one is so small, I don't know if you would even really feel it. But let me show you a bigger centipede from Arizona. This is called the common desert centipede. Wow, isn't that awesome? He can grow four to five inches long, and they're often called tiger centipedes because of their brown and tan striped body segments. They're pretty aggressive if you handle them. Um, you won't get, you won't go to the hospital if you get bit by one, but you're probably gonna feel it like a bee sting, right? Okay, well, let's go to the giant desert centipede. Now this one is like the scariest of all scaries. Now this is um, six to eight inches long. They come out at night. Again, they're nocturnal. So you don't see them unless you're out looking for them at night. And again, it's really hard to find these guys. This particular giant desert centipede has one of the most venomous, harmful stings you can get. It's very painful. It, again, won't send you to the doctor, but they are not to be played with. All right, well, let's go ahead and get into our lesson about centipedes for Jesus. So I want to share a story that I found from another pastor about centipedes. 
Now this is Brother Larry. This morning I was preparing for Sunday services and I was moved to glorify God. As I walked about the house, I picked up everything I could see and lifted it to heaven, declaring its glory. Like, thank you, Jesus, for this centipede. Thank you, God, for this Bible. Thank you for this iPad, these tongs, this table. Thank you, thank you. He just went around the room thanking God for all of the things that he had been given and praising God for everything. And then all of a sudden, the Holy Spirit shows up and says, Larry, that's his name. And he says, yes, Lord. He says, would you be my centipede for my glory? Okay, if God someday comes to you and you hear this voice saying, would you be a centipede for me? Would that make you stop and go, what? Well, that's what Larry is doing right now. He said, uh, can I get back to you? And the Holy Spirit said, uh, like right now or tomorrow? And he's like, well, maybe tomorrow. He says, no, I kind of need your answer now. Would you be a centipede for me? And he's like, uh, well, uh, this is kind of weird, God. I don't know. Oh, uh, well. Could you just give me a few minutes to, to kind of figure out what I'm supposed to do if I'm going to be a centipede for you? And he was pretty nervous, and he's like, um, okay, God, I'll be a centipede, but I just don't know what this looks like. And he said, it's not my intention to change you into a literal centipede, my son, only to ask you to be in one theory. While you don't have as many legs as a centipede, you do have two hands that will lift up my praise to everyone. And I said, Lord, I can do this. And he said, then go and praise my name everywhere. So Larry says he went outside for the whole day and he went to I think it was a subway. Have you been to a subway? It's like an underground train. He went on the subway and he just praised God. And then he had to get a taxi on his way to somewhere they was going. And he got in a taxi and praised God. And he had to walk down the sidewalk to the business that he was going to. And he just praised God. And the, the verse that the guy was given by the Lord was Psalms 96, 1 through 9. So stop. Put me on pause and go find Psalms 96, 1 through 9, and come back and we'll read it together. Psalms 96, 1. Oh, I should have found it too. Where are we? Okay, here we go. I sing a new song for the Lord. For you, people of the earth, sing to the Lord. Sing to the Lord and praise him day after day. Tell about how he saves us. Tell the nation about his glory. Tell all people about the wonderful things he has done. The Lord is great. He is really worthy of praise. People should have respect for him as the greatest God of all. All of the gods and all the nations are like statues. They can't do anything, but the Lord made the heavens. Glory and majesty are all around him. Strength and glory can be seen in his temple. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Praise the Lord for all of his glory and strength. Praise the Lord for the glory that belongs to him. And praise and bring offering that comes to the temple and the courtyard of his temple. Worship the Lord because of his beauty and holiness. All you people of the earth tremble when you are with him. Wow, I love psalms. And I love praising Jesus everywhere I go. Well, I found a craft that's really fun, and I think it's going to help us to remember all the things that we need to praise God for. You want to go ahead and get started? All right, let's do it. All right, well, we're going to make a centipede. And so I just traced out and cut the body of a centipede with those little feelers. They're always in different directions, so I liked that they were kind of See how they're going in different directions? They're always feeling around for stuff. And then I just made a little round face for him. And I'm just going to put his face on with some glue. And I'm going to put
put a smiley face on him because he is a super happy centipede. So now we're going to put the legs on and you can be really creative. Any colors that you like, we're just going to put it on with our glue. Really easy. And I'm going to do every other color, yellow and brown. But here's the important part. Every leg is going to be something to praise Jesus for. So my thought would be each day I put on a new leg and I write down, thank you, Jesus, for caterpillars. And that day I just think about praising him, praising him for all the amazing creatures and insects that he put out there for us to do our a lesson on. And then maybe tomorrow, thank you for glue. Have you ever really thought how hard it would be to do things if you didn't have glue? If God didn't give us the creative imagination to make things, you know, like how he created us, how difficult it would be? And then maybe tomorrow or the next day, I put this down and praise him for this table. Hmm, it would be really hard to eat a meal if I didn't have a table to sit down at, right? So you get the idea. Every day, put another leg on the caterpillar, praising Jesus for the things that he's given us. And, at, and that whole day, just concentrate and think about what life, life would be like if we didn't have water, if we didn't have air, if we didn't have moms and dads, if we didn't have school. Seriously, think about what the world would be like if we didn't have all these great things. All right, let's go ahead and end our session with prayer today, okay? All right. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much. One, for your creativity and the things that you put. We can never, ever have enough time on this earth to adventure and see all of the things that you have made for us. We praise you all the time, all day, in front of people, in weird and crazy places, we praise you no matter what, no matter how bad it is or how good it is, we praise you in all things. Thank you. Amen. All right. Well, I have a really interesting insect next Sunday, so I hope you'll join us. Until then, go have some fun. Take a hike and find some really fun bugs. Bye-bye.